Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Today we're going to be talking about VC, VC earnings, the struggle for VC, all topics about VC. But let me give you guys some information about this game. Yes, Paul George is in this game. When you start my career, no matter what injuries are on the regular quick game or online, they do not affect my career. So if you're coming to my career and you know you want to say, oh, well, I want Paul George to be out for the season because I want to be that person for the Indiana Pacers. Well, you can't. It's that simple. But uh, just to let you guys know, I am on a tear right now in my career. Um, what I've been doing lately is I've been looking at the VC earnings for whatever type of games you play. Now, I think that this game is worth probably about 125 VC because they don't have like the, the greatest team or even a mediocre team. I think it's like the lowest, you know, thing on the totem pole. So certain games are worth 125 VC. Certain games are worth 237 VC. And other games are worth 350 VC. Now, of course, we all know the 350 VC games are the games against powerhouse teams, teams with super, super, superstar players. And, you know, probably about maybe I would say two to three superstar players, you know, not just one, just one lonely superstar on their team. I'm talking about you have to have like a powerhouse. Now, I have a small problem with that. Now, we all know that this game is microtransaction based. A lot of people can just buy VC and, you know, build up their player to a certain point until they have to play the game and, you know, extend their available upgrades for attributes. But, you know, if you're a person like me that doesn't like spending way too much money on a game, you know, you kind of say, oh, well, I'm going to just play a whole bunch of games and I'm going to get my guy up. Now, this is what I did. I purchased, I think, 75,000 VC from 2K to upgrade, you know, my uh, my dunks, my gear, my gear on the park, um, sneakers, all of that, right? Now, when it came to available upgrades for, like, my player and, you know, badges and stuff like that, I waited to see how much VC I could earn by the end of the season. Now, this is the thing. I'm already in the playoffs. So the game player you are watching, I've I probably played this around like maybe like October 8th or 9th or something like that. Like I was I was putting in mad work. So, you know, at the end of the season, I looked at how much VC I had left over after purchasing all my stuff. And I had probably about 40 something thousand VC, right? Now, after I got done playing the entire month of April, the entire month, I only had, what was that? I think like 63,000 VC. Now, this is over, I think, what, like prior a span of 29 to 30 something games from the moment that I started. So all of these games, you know, playing on Hall of Fame, getting your times two bump it barely helped <laughs> like i barely earned any real vc now this is also what i did with this for games that were worth 125 i only played on six minute quarters for games that were worth 237 vc i only played on like eight or nine minute quarters and the games of course that was worth 350 I played on 12 minute quarters now the thing is of course you know you're not going to get great grades you're not going to have like great performances a lot of highlight plays if you're playing on the lower minutes but when you look at it 125 vc for a game really isn't worth it even if you get the double like you're only going to get 250 vc guaranteed if you're playing a hall of fame but you might get bombed on you know, so it's like, it's like, ah, nah, I'm good. I'm not going to play these 12 minute quarters, you know, for this little bit of VC. Now, this is what I think 2K should do. 2K should raise how much VC you earn per game. Now, we all know that this is like in conjunction with your contract, but they don't show you no real life numbers unless you go into like my career and stats and like data and all of that. So, you know, I think that the 125 uh, VC game should be worth 250. I think the 237 VC game should be worth 500. And I think that the 350 um, VC game should be worth 750. Now, the reason for that is because the game on Hall of Fame, everybody knows how it is. 
you either have to play cheesy, you either have to play like real off-ball defense where you hold your guy in position so the offense doesn't run right. You have to run crazy pick and rolls and post up plays and everything like that just to let your teammates get off. And you know, everybody know it's a cheese fest. So for me, I think that having somebody say, you know what, you can get you know double 750 VC every time you play Hall of Fame that that is like the, the ultimate high you know that's that would make people actually want to play my career because it will seem like they earned something now to piggyback on that right the struggle for VC is so real that when you play my part if you don't win any games you really don't earn much now we all know you get a i think like 150 vc for winning a, a match but if your like teammate grade is low or you know things like that like your performance oh man you'll get negative points awarded to your player like this is like this is real life right now like i know a lot of people play the park for rep but there are still those people out there that say hey man you know i need a new jump shot or I need like this this bubble vest real quick. Let me play like 10 games and, and, and get this up real quick so I can buy this vest. You can play those 10 games and lose all 10 of them and not even have enough to earn. <laughs> like you won't like you'll go to the store like damn I just played 10 games. Why well, ain't got the I ain't got no VC? What what happened? Well, first of all, you lost 10 games, you had a C plus performance. No, not C plus performance, a C plus grade, and you had a poor performance. So you would be in the negative, in the red, the entire time. So trust me, guys, I know that the VC struggle is real, but um, I want to know what type of minutes uh, setup you guys have, what difficulty you guys play on, what teams you play for. You know, leave me all this information inside the comment section because I'm just trying to, you know, round up a lot of information about my career. So when I send off like patch lists and, you know, requests and stuff like that and wish lists to 2K, I can have some type of information to fall back on. But uh, this was definitely, you know, a nice topic to talk about. Um, I hope you guys understood everything that I talked about. I know I was, I was probably rambling on and on and on. But, man, the, the VC struggle is real. I, I can tell you now, you know, when I, when I see that you've earned 1,300 to 1,400 VC per game, I want to earn more. <laughs> like, I really want to earn more per game. But let's hop into some press conferences and some uh, extra cut scenes. Uh, in the back, Kyle, what's your question? Yo, she gotta be on that ish, yo. Like, she gotta be doped up, yo. You had the ball a lot in what amounted to a pretty bad loss for your team. So is it fair to say that the blame lies squarely on your shoulders tonight? Bruh, did y'all not see Paul George go off at the end of the game? Unfortunately, that is fair. I carry a big bulk of our offense on my shoulders and we weren't able to get it done tonight. So I guess the blame does lie on me. You there, next question. You definitely came to play tonight, but your teammates did not. Are you disappointed in that? Bruh, you're not gonna mess up my team chemistry. I know what you're trying to do, you know what you did. Yes, I'm disappointed that we lost, but this loss is on me and my teammates. We rise as a team and we fall as a team. I'm not pointing any fingers. Bruh, you in the coffin? You sir? Well, it's no secret you're approaching free agency. Do you plan to give a hometown discount if they make an offer? You know, I'm not really concerned with that, all right? I just want to finish the season off nice and strong and let my agent deal with the numbers. You mean to tell me you're the only professional athlete who doesn't care about money? That's not what I said. I said I'll let my agent deal with the numbers. Damn, he really pushing for it. What you want me to say? You may not believe this, but all of us just don't sit up at night dreaming about how much bank we can make. Some of us just want to play the game, run with good teammates and compete for a title. I mean, it might blow your mind, but I'm just trying to hope, bro. Does that answer your question? So I thought, thank you. I'm the man. I make it do what it do. I don't care if you're in grade school or the NBA. This game is all about solid fundamentals. Let's get some extra work in here. Got to get better every day. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like I have to do another drill today. This one is catch and shoot. Now, from what I know, these drills just happen randomly. Like, I could have a great shooting game, and these cutscenes and these little weird drills will happen. Now, I wish that I could do these drills manually instead of being automatically brought into these drills. But it's, it's kind of weird, you know. Me, I'm just catching shooting with Monte right now. And he's giving me the ball before I even hit the spots. Like, it, it just feels so weird, yo. Now, with this catch and shoot drill, right, I'm supposed to catch it. But do you guys see how the animations work in this game? Like, do you notice that I overshoot for certain things? I don't really catch it offhand. I just catch it, keep moving. Sometimes I travel a little bit. It's just so weird. And I can't even move when he passes me the ball. Like, okay, I know it's a catch and shoot drill, but I'm not even at the spot, bro. Can, can you wait till I get to the spot? <laughs> But I will say that uh, I wish that I could do these manually. It would be a great drill to have because I'll know where, you know, start creating hot spots and things like that because my hot zones right now are definitely everything from the middle all the way to the paint. Um, a little bit of where I just shot from, uh, not too much on the other side because I don't take many jump shots from that side. And uh, baseline, I think I'm freezing from there, um, from the paint to the uh, mid-range and to the three. But you know, I can hit some shots from time to time, you know. <laughs> My jump shot is a little cash, I'm just saying. But you know, it is kind of weird, but you know, it is what it is, man. Uh, maybe 2K will put them in manually after a patch or something, or maybe they'll add it in next year or something manual that you can do. Because remember when they had drills? Everybody remember that? Y'all don't remember that. Y'all don't remember that. I ain't even going to talk about it because everybody going to say, man, 2K ain't never do that before. When in fact, they had that joint in like 2K, what, 9, 10. I think they even, I think they even had it in 11. You know what? I ain't going to talk about it. Next cut scene. That's what I'm talking about. Good efforts yields great results every time. Way to work. All right, y'all. This is IKC signing out. I'm going to holler at you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave that comment. I want to know uh, how many minutes, what team you're on, play style you play on, how much VC you're earning, all different difficulty settings, all that. Let me know in the comment section. Peace. Yeah.